you gotta focus on being strong rather than trying to just use cardio and treadmill workouts for weight loss. The number one thing you've gotta do is get strong. And what do we do to get strong? We gotta build muscle. Because in fact, if you have more muscle in your body, you're gonna be burning more calories at rest. That's the most important thing. Because cardio is the icing on the cake. We should know this by now. I do have a lot of follow along treadmill workouts that you may have been using, and I appreciate you for following along and trusting your confidence in me to get in shape. And I know they do work because I actually had one of my subscribers who lost over 30 pounds using my treadmill workouts. So that's amazing, man. And I, I love you and I appreciate you for doing that. That's Congratulations, that's awesome. I have another lady, she's been uh, getting in better shape and you know, fit into her medium-sized pants for the first time in a long time, just got back from vacation. You know who you are. And this video is actually dedicated to you because I wanted to really help you out, whoever you are, watching this video. I want you to just try and reprogram your brain a little bit. Don't think about all these crazy cardio, goal weight. I mean, yeah, if you have more than you know 50 or 100 pounds to lose, sure, but when you're in that last 15 to 20 pound range, don't focus on that number on the scale because it can be deceiving. I want you to focus on how you look and I want you to focus on how you feel. And then again, I want you to prioritize your strength training because that's gonna be building a healthy metabolism. That's gonna be the recipe for success because if we just keep focusing on cardio and just trying to get to this goal weight, you know, how are we gonna look? Like, at the end of the day, I really want you to think about, hey, when you look at yourself naked in the mirror, what do you look like? How do you feel about yourself? Because if you just focus on weight loss, we're just gonna become a smaller version of what we already are. So we wanna prioritize building muscle, okay? We wanna get strong as possible. I actually want you to eat calories. I want you to have food. I don't want you to about worried about dieting and all that stuff because of the fact, if you over diet, more than likely you're going to gain the weight that you lost and then you're going to gain more back. So I really want you to focus on sculpting your physique, building a body that you're proud of. Because if you can get in really good shape and shape the, your body, add a little bit of clay here. Like I say, we are the artists, right? And we're adding a little bit of clay to our sculpture. So if we're adding a little here, adding to our, to our lats, taking a little bit off her waist, we're going to build that nice little V taper for women to hourglass figure, right? That nice shape but it all starts with building muscle. And so we've gotta get as strong as possible, having that as our number one goal, because that's like our fitness bank account, right? We deposit all of these things into our bank, the broccoli, the chicken, the sweet potato, the brown rice, whatever, right? And those are all our fitness deposits, okay? And we gotta build that up over the years, the workouts, the Friday nights at six o'clock at the gym when everybody's out drinking or partying or having a good time at the pool, you're out putting into work, in the gym, getting your sweat on, right? It's so hot out here as so you might be able to see me sweating, but you're putting into work and that takes time. It takes dedication. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of energy and it's not going to happen overnight. It's years and years of doing this. One year is just one attempt at getting in shape. So you've got to put in a lot of time to get this stuff done. And I want you to be strong because if you can build muscle in your body, say this is like one pound of fat, my fist, and this is like or I'm sorry, one pound of muscle, right? One pound of muscle, my fist, and then this is like one pound of fat, maybe the size of my head. So here's my head, fat, here's my fist, muscle. Muscle is more dense and it requires more calories to stay there. It's why you might have heard of athletes that they need like 5,000 to 6,000 calories in their peak performance to actually stay in shape. And what if an athlete gets sick and then they're not eating as much and they only eat like 2,000, 2,500 calories? They lose weight, they lose like five or seven pounds because that muscle retains water and it's energy and muscle burns fat. So we wanna have as much muscle as we can and get as strong as we can because then we won't have to worry about weight. When I work with a lot of new clients, I say focus on being strong and focus on your nutrition. The weight will come off, all right? Now, if you do have a lot of weight to lose, then sometimes I might prioritize that with some cardiovascular workouts that have strength training. But like I said, the icing on the cake is just walking on a treadmill, for example, or going around walks in your neighborhood. I'll put the links down below to the weighted vest. You gotta get a weighted vest. It's like my recipe for success for 2022. Now in 2021, I did put my five healthy lifestyle tips for mobility and longevity. And one of those was walking with a weighted vest three days a week for 20 to 30 minutes. I did put my free beginner weight loss plan or my beginner workout plan for 2023. So I'll put the card right here. Please go ahead and check that out. I broke down 16 weeks of what I would do every single week for the four phases, every four weeks of how you would get in shape and do it the right way, okay? So I'm gonna not keep this video too, too long as with most of my videos, I tend to ramble sometimes, but focus on being strong, focus on your nutrition, and I want you to think about how you look and feel. 
what you see in the mirror, right? The inches that you're losing off your waist. If you focus on your strength training and prioritize that, that's gonna shape the body. That's gonna give your body you're happy about because if you're just losing weight and you're focusing on the scale, more than likely you're gonna become a smaller version of what you already are. And you're not gonna really look that much different other than you shrunk down a little bit. And chances are, if you start eating even a little bit more food, you're gonna gain that weight back. But if you build muscle in the body, you're gonna build your fitness bank account up where you might be able to take withdrawals. You'll have that cheeseburger, you'll have the cheesecake, you'll be able to have the few margaritas or whatever, and you won't gain those five pounds. Your body will be able to bounce back because you gave it the muscle in the body to help burn calories at rest. And that's the biggest benefit is we're burning calories at rest. If you just focus on weight loss and you focus on cardio, all your work is done doing that cardio, but then the fat burning stops. At least when you build muscle or you do some sort of maybe, you know, high intensity training where you spike your heart rate up and it comes back down, you increase your lung, you increase uh, the capacity of your lungs for how much oxygen you can take in, then you're able to burn more calories, you're able to train at a higher threshold, and you're gonna look better, you're gonna look great naked, right? And that's the main goal, we wanna look good at what we see in the mirror, and if we do go to the pool or go to the beach, we wanna look good in our bathing suits. I mean, that's the ultimate reason why we train is so we can feel and look good, and look good in clothes too. You wanna be able to put on any outfit and be like, damn, this fits good. So focus on being strong, focus on your nutrition, and worry about how you look and how you feel. I want you to pay attention to how your energy is, because if you're over dieting and overdoing the cardio and you feel weak and you feel miserable, we need to switch some things up. And if you're having trouble, feel free to reach out to me, shoot me an email, uh, send me a DM on Instagram, let me know some of your questions. I'm here to help, and that's why I put out all this you know, really cool content because I want you to make a change. I don't want to see you stuck. And when I was 13, I didn't have any coach. I didn't have any help. So that's why I'm kind of documenting my journey, giving all this free advice so you don't feel stuck. And if you want to take it to the next level, like some of my online clients or people that train with me in my studio in person, yes, then you can schedule a coaching call. We can hop on the phone. We can figure out your limitations, any kind of distractions that may be preventing you from getting to where you want to go and help narrow down the specific foods you might need to be able to implement into your diet. So you can see success in the gym. So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. If you're brand new to the channel, my name's Frank. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach. And on this channel, I'm going to help you feel, move, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And that's going to wrap up the video, guys and girls. So please go ahead and click over here for my follow along workouts. I have over 99 workouts. Workout 100 is going to be a banger, so don't miss it. Click over here for the latest video. Click right there for the Beginner Bodyweight Basics program. It's my bread and butter of how you would get started. Members only Discord 24 7 support. And click here to subscribe. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.